Sorry about this, fellas. Hey, fellas, I'm really sorry about this. That's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. You want to you wanna get out here and try it much? Playing with my gear. Singing my head in a cold, cold scream like my sweet little Lisa do. I was hauling out of Dallas, got pulled over by a debutante. But she was playing with the key she got. Okay, drop in there. I was hauling out of Dallas, got pulled over by a debutante. She was playing with the geese, I was proud. Go. I was hauling out of Dallas, got pulled over by a debutante. She was playing with the geese, I was playing kind of nonchalant. Hey, no. Wrong. You. Nick Lowe is younger than Dave Edmonds. He started his professional career with a group called Kippington Lodge. They changed their name to Brinsley Schwartz in 1969. For five years before they too broke up, they were one of Britain's most successful bands. Since then, as producer for Elvis Costello, Graham Parker and many others, he's had considerable success, including one single hit for himself, I Love the Sound of Breaking Glass, a track from the album Jesus of Cool. With guitarist Billy Bremner and drummer Terry Williams, Nick Lowe and Dave Edmonds now tour successfully together as Rock Pile. Record company problems oblige Edmonds and Lowe to release their records separately, but they do now at least record together. It's December 1978, and in two days' time they'll go into the studio to record Dave Edmonds' fifth solo album and Nick Lowe's second. Right, if Mike Douglas isn't doing that one before the end of the year, then, <laughs> then I'm a cloth cap. <laughs> do about this dice you see it's the same thing it's all very well making a scrappy piece of paper like this but it's my career here that's doing this thing and it's not looking very promising <laughs> van gogh who's had the same problem you know he just sort of draw a little sketch on us on a napkin in a restaurant see so it's all little it's what we call a sort of artistic doodle you could work out things like phrasing and getting all the harmonies sort of exactly, sort of, you know. And by the time you get into the studio, it's usually forgotten. Because the stuff we do is simple, it comes out as rock and roll. That's... There's no way you can write an up-tempo an up beat yeah. item 
with three chords and it doesn't come out as rock and roll. There is no, that you can, it's impossible for it to come out otherwise. That's how oh, it started great. in the first place. Yeah. It was just, you know, Eddie Cochran and he was working for 20th Century Fox or something as a tea boy or a, a tape op. They took a dinner break and a lunch break. And he, he, and he jumped on the instruments and he, he came up with 20 flat rock. You know, it was fun. He didn't know he was creating art or something that was going to influence you know, future generations and people are going to make records like it, you know, and, but it happened. He didn't plan it and he didn't sit up with all the boys in, a, in their living room working out what, how they're going to do it and how it's going to sound. It just happened. In those days, it was complete mystery. People, you know, most people in the street know vaguely how records are made and things like that. So, in fact, it's harder now, in 1978, to make rock and roll records even, uh, than it was when, when Eddie did it. Yeah. Eddie Cochran and all those guys, because then it was wide open, there was no rules, no nothing. So, uh, nowadays you've got to fight through all the oral exciters and the 48 track studios and... If you can fight through all that and still come out with a rocking record, then you're winning. And we know how to do that, don't we, man? Alright, fine. And the hi-hat? Scovia, you're in tune yet? Can everyone remember the arrangement of it, all right? It's the intro, you do however many bars it is. It's bang, bang, bam, bam, bang, 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 bam, bang, 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 bang. About as many as that. Two verses, the chorus is in between, a solo, another verse with a chorus, a solo, and then chorus is out, I think, isn't it? Good. Billy's got it. Right, so give it some stick then, huh? You have to start with the backing track, so that's the drums, the bass guitar, the rhythm guitar and piano or whatever it is just the very the bare rudiments so that you can then sing against that and put your solos on later on in this business where you've got to have your records so they come out of the radio at you the whole game is to try and make your record sound louder than anyone else's and everyone's got their tricks that they try but uh, for me the secret is to get the drums sounding loud and then you have to have a good vocal performance so it's very important to get the get the drums right Not bad at all. Let's let's have a listen to that. If he could work out some sort of fancy drum bit, then I think uh, <laughs> our happiness would be complete. I think there'd be love and music all over the world. Yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. 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 That's what we did. did earlier on and Nick had the offbeat on the bass. No, but you've no, no, you, you were going that. Do, dam, bam, ding. Go 
once you've got your backing track down, you find that there's some musical aspects of the track which need to be strengthened. And the way that you do that is to play them again on another track. So in effect, what you have is two guitars playing the same thing. If you just want to do odd little bits, like if you want to strengthen the guitar part in a chorus or something like that, you can just go up to the chorus and start the machine going and get the guy to play the guitar and then stop the machine when he's finished it. I'm just tracking them bits. Yeah. Could you bring me up a fraction or the bring the... There, the Can you drop me in any chorus yeah, person? Please. People have done this for forever. I mean, Phil Spector, when he did all his... his uh, his classic records, you know, River Deep, Mountain High, and all those things with the crystals and everything. He did them all on eight track machine. This is a 24 track machine. Did them all on eight track, but it's still the same principle. He used to double track and double track. In other words, he'd put down an acoustic guitar. A. Eh? He used a three track machine in Gold Star Studios in LA, and he used to do it backwards to what we're doing it. In fact, he did it the right way. He'd get all the musicians in, like 25 of them or something, all crammed in. Six acoustic guitars, I thought four that was pianos. His publicity no, stunt, no, that. that's the way he did it. And he got the whole thing done. Had the musicians rehearsing for hours and hours and get it all together. And he captured it in one take. And the only overdubs then was the the singers. And that went. The backing went on two tracks, and the singers went on one. Give him a bit more of a run in so he can... Sounds like a wasp and a jam jar, trying to get out. Why are you trying to go with that? Make it... Make it like you're going mad. Make it like you've... You've had enough of punching cows, man. Sound like chuck. Like, go on, and bash in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it kind of frantic. It needs to be frantic. Right? Well, go on, it stick. think that Dave and I's relationship is very, very distant, even though we are very close friends. <laughs> he and I have been through a lot together and sometimes uh, I get surprised about uh, feeling affection towards Dave. He's not the most lovable creature in the world, for God's sake, even though he's a great guitarist and a great singer. He's not the most lovable of, of uh, people sometimes. He's like a sort of elder brother or something like that to me, in fact. I'm much more demonstrative than Dave is. Dave is much sort of quiet. You know, when I get, I, I get much more excited much quicker than Dave does. Then I tell him he's old and boring. Yeah, See, it's too it's frantic. A bit of control is needed. Yeah, but don't get too controlled. <laughs> Go on, you can do it, but don't get too controlled. See, the thing is that you can't do this sort of thing unless you're on drugs. Hey! 
Calm down, champ. You got a big fight coming up. What okay. I mean is that you can't do this sort of thing unless you sort of concentrate <laughs> on it. Can you? That's right, champ. Yeah. That's, what, you I, say. that's yeah. what I would have thought. Okay. It's all right. Calm down, bro. Okay. We'll just. You know, all you got to do is just play in time. You know, it's, it's all right. Oh, is that all? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> What's your written? Well, I don't know. I'm getting all. That's the. Right. Right. Now, what are we listening to? By itself, right? That's three we're listening to. That's three, yeah. Should we listen to them individually and yeah. see them? No, there's no point. Let's see what no we point. Got. Let's Shall nail we? it now. Let's just fucking nail it now. It's only a bloody guitar solo. Christ, it's all. <laughs> well, I've got to sing, or you and I got to sing. Right. Okay. What's it? Go on, fire. This time in the morning. Yeah. I'm a ball fighter. I got a regal for my will now. Said I'm a ball fighter. How I hate it on a plate. I'm gay. I'm gay. All right, give us a burst then. Was it in tune? Yeah. <laughs> Circuits, girls like that bring a lump to my pocket. Everybody says I can never catch her. I've been a lot of things, but I never was a quitter. I'm a ball fighter. I got a big phone now. What's written? It's alright on this track. I'm a ball fighter. Yeah, that's it. And that's the last one, isn't it? Yeah. We just you want to drop one on it then? Yeah. Later. Let's just get yeah, him we'll and me get it first, and then, and then track you stick it. your top one on. Right. Hey, hey. Actually, it's quite easy, isn't it? Mm. I was more in tune than I thought it was going to be the harmonies. Yeah. Oh, they were fine. All right? Yeah. What's the matter with it? Can you play the original to me then? It's quite a good idea to double up your vocal because it makes it sound much stronger and uh, it can come across better, especially on the radio. So you have to work a bit on singing it exactly the same as you did the first time. I real for my will now. Okay. But generally, I, I do it. I only do it a little bit, just in certain bits that I think need strengthening up. And most people can't really tell whether a voice has been double trapped. I'm a bone fighter. I got a wriggle for my will now. I'm a bone fighter. How I hate it on a plate. Sounded all right to me. Right. Well, that was another beer. Famous, I call.
Yeah. It's just in the, uh, the end bit. When you hear people singing in the studio on their own, it can sound a bit comical because they're just hearing the backing track in their headphones and so you just hear their, all their inflections and uh, little tricks and things that you'd have to put into the voice to perform. Billy's a fantastic singer because he's got a real high voice and high voices for some reason have always been very uh, commercial sounding. I think again because of the radio, they come out of the radio very well. Cut it off the same time as you. That's yeah, right. you've got to hang on a bit longer yeah. than that. Yeah, okay. It's different at the end, though. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's do all this first. Right. I tell you what, it sounds real uh, good. Maybe we should do it on all of them. Well, I'll tell you what, put it down on all of them and then elbow it if you don't like it. Exactly. Right, the ball's in your court then, Di. Can you write up the words for me, Bash? That'd be a good move to make, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll write it out in big letters, Di, so you can understand it. <laughs> the cold, dark night is split by the stab of twin headlights like fingers of guides that know of it but have never been there and eyes red rimmed appeal for the nth time and strain for the road signs to flash by the windshield in the hard driving rain his mind is not dwelling on bed of white linen, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit low for me, but let's try it again. You want us to speed it up? No, let's try it again. Maybe you should come in a little bit more forceful, you know. Oh, uh, the call! A bit more like that. It used to be something a bit more rock. Yeah, around. that's why it's a bit too low for me, I can't. Never mind, try it again. All right, we'll give it one more bash. If it doesn't work, then let's do it again. Okay. The cold, dark night is split by the stab of twin headlights like fingers of guides that know of it would have never been there. And eyes red rim. Appeal for the nth time and strain for the road signs that flash by the windshield and the hard drive. Yeah, you can skip around all over the place. Whatever. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's got to sound as more positive. That's all. Yeah, and the diction. She's in Wait, that's the way. Okay, 
Yeah, he's operating on half power at the moment, whereas this key would be right for me, but he's got a much more tuneful voice which operates better in a higher frequency. And originally it was supposed to be for me, this song. But he doesn't know the song very well, you see. He's much better when he knows the song, when he's confident on singing it. And, that, and you don't have to be a musician to pick that up. You can, anyone can tell when someone is into the song that they're singing. And that's what he's got to get at the moment. But he's only done it twice. I mean, it's not bad for twice through. Sorry about that. Just explaining about what a bad singer you are, basically. <laughs> hmm. OK. You can always depend on Nick to let me down. No, 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 no. You're not bad, you're not bad. OK. I'll go out there and sit out there by myself again, just sitting on the stools, correct? No. Meditate. I was just explaining, that's all. OK. Don't do it again. Right. So now we've speeded the uh, tape up of the backing track. So Dave is going to be singing in a higher pitch. And uh, so he can attack it. It'll just sound better for his voice. He won't be wallowing around in the lower register. One, two, three, two. A cold, dark night is split by the stab of twin headlights like fingers of guys that know of it. But I've never been there. Yeah, that sounds better. Eyes red rim. Sounds more like feel for the end time and strain for the road signs. The flash by the windshield in the hard driving rain. His mind is not dwelling on a bed of white linen, but the endless gray ribbon. But wine's on her head The moon comes up Cheesy and golden Reminding of olden times Gunning motor times Restless and young A cut glass bowl Drop in from when the backing comes in. Yeah, the phrasing was a bit unsteady. From coast to cola to rich folk, Virginia. Ah, Virginia. I pushed that one, yeah. From coast. Okay. From okay. Go. Here we go again. From coast to cola to rich folk, Virginia. It's amazing how samey they are. Twenty-five by some time with the waitress. Passion speed a built out in the car log. The thing that gets me off most about that, this whole business is singers. Because this is something that I'm very frustrated about is that I can write songs and things like that and hear these noises in my head and know how to achieve them, but not be able to achieve them. The way popular music is now, there's a real lack of singing. The vocal is the actual human element of it. You don't go into a music shop and buy a voice. You have to, you have to actually perform it. His thoughts may be thinking of sweet smelling women, but the endless gray ribbon is his for tonight. The endless gray ribbon, the endless gray ribbon, the endless gray ribbon. Uh, right, what bits need to be 
Well, I've changed We're my done. mind, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's good. The harmonies, yeah. The only bit I thought was right at the start. A cold on a day is themed for the world. Um, that's why Nick it? isn't singing it. Hang on a tick. I can't remember the way it goes. Hey! <laughs> I can't remember it. A cold, dark night. That's great. It's These demo tapes can sound extremely rough. But now and again you hear one that's just right. The thing is that after you've heard enough demo tapes, you get experienced in hearing them as finished records. And the best songs are the ones that sound like anybody could have written them. It's the hardest thing in the world to write a three chord simple rock and roll song. That is the hardest thing. Essentially, it's a beat number. It doesn't really matter what the words are. It's just a beat song. It's obviously just sort of sex type thing, is it? Yeah. yeah. Generally, yeah. Took I love you. Took me out to a room. All that stuff over. Uh, trucking down the street and all that stuff. It doesn't matter what the words are, as long as it sounds right. As long as the beat is there. That's all that's important. The world's going to keep on turning, whether we do uh, this or not. Uh oh. <laughs> Terry and Billy are technically much better than what they actually demonstrate. But that's what makes them so good to me. A drummer that knows how to rock and roll is a very rare and lovely thing. And Terry Williams knows how to do that. And same with Billy Bremner as well. They are rockers, those guys, and they are very rare. They're just the best at what they do. seems maybe that it's Dave and I's group we're the front men and probably you know at the moment I think we are because we've had our mugs in the papers more than Billy and Terry but in fact it is a group it's a very equal sort of basis that we're on I saw the red light on the corner, man. 
man, I'll never try to stop. Got pulled over by a man in blue. He said, oh, what the hell are you trying to do? I told him about my baby, he let me go. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I found it. Very good though. I'll tell you what, Di, you're well on the case here. Just, oh. get, just sort it out. Okay, come on. Second verse. Yeah. My baby, you let me go, thanks a lot. I got invited to a party at a... <laughs> a party. <laughs> My baby, you let me go, thanks a lot. I got invited to a party at a high school Hollywood pool. Oh, there were women all around me, man, I began to drool. Right. I weighed the evidence at hand. I said, girls, you gotta understand. Since I met my baby, y'all were living by the golden rule. Yeah, okay, I'll to understand. Oh, yeah, definitely, I'll to understand. Whoa, that is hot, that is hot. Right. Saw out the phrasing on that die. Yeah, okay, I got, got it. it, I got it. I weighed the evidence at hand. I said, girls, you gotta understand. Since I left my baby, I've been living by the golden rule. Oh, fucking fantastic. So what? I have to think. Make what? me do the wrong damn thing. Make me do the wrong damn thing. I can sing in my head in a cold, cold scream like my sweet little Lisa do. I was hauling out of Dallas, got pulled over by a debutant. She was playing with the gear shift. I was playing like a... After debutant. I was hauling out of Dallas, got pulled over by a debutant. She was playing with the keys, I was being kind of nonchalant. She said she'd take me up to the room. Get me back on the phone. Hey, can we drop in after that? That laugh is great. <laughs> Jesus. Ain't nobody gonna make the same. Make me feel the wrong damn thing. I can sing in my head in a cold, cold. The thing with Nick, he has a considerable ability to keep a grip when morale is running low. He's right up there, you know, with inspiration musically and personally. He helped me out a lot over a, a bad time in my life, actually. And I think that's a, an important part about being in a band, you know, if you can rely on the other guys to help you out. Albert Lee is my hero. I saw him playing when he was 17 years old with Chris Farlow and the Thunderbirds in, in the Flamingo Club in Soho in London. He was incredible then. Now he's even better. Determined to get him on the record. Unfortunately, he was living in Los Angeles. I wasn't. I met him out there, told him I planned to do the song. And he said, Great, I'm coming across to England for Christmas. I'll be available. I'm all for locking in, you know, locking it into whatever you want. It'll be a very, very long time before there is a guitarist to match Albert's ability. Every guitarist I've ever known, myself included, model their style on somebody. He doesn't borrow anything off anyone, it's all his own. That's what makes him so special.
If I could be born again as anything else other than myself, it would be as Albert Lee. Because just to hear that man play guitar the way he does is a joy. It's something I've never experienced with any other musician. To me. Does it sound right in here? Yeah, it's fine. We checked it actually. Yeah. They mentioned it, but it, it was alright. It must be just the can. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> Listen, you've obviously read my pamphlet on this uh, guitar playing <laughs> technique, but you know, I, I think you should. I think you should really get into my catalogue. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, I, I've got. I, I want to get out before I start sliding downhill. So therefore, I'm looking around for something else different to do, and I can think of lots of things different to do. I'd I'd go and work with my dad. I wouldn't be as happy as a sandboy as long as I can earn some buns. I mean, that's all I'm doing. And I'd rather play in the evenings. I'd be as happy as a sandboy strumming with him in the evenings. Until it runs out of fun. As soon as it stops being fun, I'm off. What a terrible attitude of despair. God. No. You're having the time of your life. You love it. You love music. Yeah, but and when all the I songs you write, it? you think they're great. And you know the ones that you write are great. And you know the ones that are a bit... And you give them to me. <laughs> yeah, that's quite true. <laughs> all right, all right. But, but I don't think it's... Uh, I don't think it's despair. It I is. There's a very gloomy kind of thing you were just saying. Yeah, but my whole it? life is ruled by gloom. The songs I do are inspired by gloom because I think that most people are gloomy. What have they got to fucking look forward to? They haven't got anything Next to look forward to. No, not. I'm talking about Joe Blow delivers the milk and. You've got uh, nothing in common with Joe Blow. Uh, maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't, but I should have. I should have something in common maybe with Joe Maybe you should, Blow. but you haven't. I just, I just write the theme music like da 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 da, da like the theme music for Coronation Street or whatever. I just write, the, or supposedly write the theme music for for life. I mean, that's what I set myself up to do. The Bee Gees actually write the theme music for life. Because uh, that's what the wil milkman is whistling. Oh my God. Right. Well, you're now. just trying to make me feel better, right? But I'm not. I'm not no. despairing at all. I don't give a shit how you care, mate. I'm just telling you, like my. I heard all that crap you came out with, and I'm reacting to it, and I think it's stupid. Really stupid. Well, that's why I think you and me are friends. In 1978, more than any time, you have got to fly close to the wind. You've got to drive yourself heavy. And, uh, and I do that because... Um, I don't do it because of anything. I do it because I like doing it, actually. But really, on your days off, Nick, you've got to <laughs> unwind. Uh, bore yourself to death. Just do nothing. No, I ain't going to blow it. I'm going to... You're going to be am. dead. I will snuff Soon. it. I will snuff it. He doesn't know when to turn off the power. I he do. He hasn't know. got a clue. I mean, he's got... That's the thing about this band. I mean, everyone in this band, like, they're completely different. And if I can't do something, there's someone else that can. 
Yeah, know? but it ain't that important, though. But I'm a bit... I'm a, I've got important. a few years up on him. I'm, like, 35 years old now. And uh, he's 29. I'm... And he's a good bloke, actually. All knit. And yeah, you think, you, you think you're show. in better shape? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because I switch off. I come back here to this place, you know, which you intruded on. Uh, but generally, you know, I just, I can come back, switch off. This guy doesn't. If, if we're not recording tomorrow night, he'll be out boogieing. No. John Travolta in. Boogieing? I wouldn't be seen dead no. boogieing. Yeah, well, modern terminology. <laughs> okay. No, get out of here. My old man was... He used to bomb Jerry's, right? That's what he did for five years. And every night he got back. They were shooting him down as hard as they could. But he somehow got through. And he's a Yeah, but I think he had a few weekends guy. off. He's a fantastic guy, my old man. I think he had a few days off. And you he don't allow like yourself Jerry's. a few days off. But you have got to, like, pull on with the hard shoulder, mate. Eh? Honest, really. Ah, uh, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. No. Wait. I don't. I You're gonna don't have to. That. Well, it ain't that. It is. David Essex, the city special, on the road with David Essex. Who else?